Welcome everybody back to another episode of the Donkey Kong 64 Randomizer, where there have been a couple changes made to the Randomizer now. Mainly with regards to, you can apparently make the Kasplut spawn in other locations than they normally do. And I've turned that on, let's see how that goes. I will also try not to use glitches this time. No promises though. Oh yes, we start with Lanky Kong! <laughs> He's my favorite. And we start with key 1, 3, 4, and 6. So we need to beat worlds 2, 5, and 7. And as well as Hideout and Helm. This is gonna be great. I freaking love Lanky Kong. I am alone in this. <laughs> oh my gosh, they finally changed Lanky's randomization settings so that he can have full overalls a different color. Yes. Got purple overalls Lanky. This is the best. Oh, I have also turned on enemy oh, randomizer. Oh, are you having hence, egg? hence the uh, spider that's just hanging out here. Oh boy, crystal caves to begin with. This will be fantastic. <laughs> the anticipation is killing me. <laughs> well, this means we don't get any cones in the first world. Hey, come on, have them get all day. Show me the bananas and I'm out of this dump. I'm not sure if this means the Kasplot can just spawn in place of a random enemy, or if it's just like, oh yeah, there's a Kasplot hanging out in a corner where there's normally not anything. Alright. I'm not sure how much we can actually do in Crystal Caves if we just have Lanky Comb. No moves. <laughs> or anything like that. Dirt patches are also randomized, too. Well, at the very least, we can see what the stores have. Hopefully we can avoid having to play Beaver Bobber. However, we do have to beat Hideout Helm, and those bonus barrels could be anything. So if we get a bunch of Beaver Bobbers in Hideout Helm, and we're on a time limit, that's gonna be really sucky. You can also randomize banana locations, but I thought that would be a bit much. Alright, we got DK, Diddy, Lanky, Chunky. Everybody but Tiny. Alright, cool. I also... wait, I don't think we can even reach any Trough and Scoff locations in here. I think they're all hidden behind ice walls that Chunky needs to break down. Well, we won't be spending a lot of time here, then. Whoa! Ooh, there we go. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Early game, we gotta get the money. It's very important, because so much is locked behind the moves you have to purchase. I suppose I should have gone into the store just to see how much Cranky was charging for the move. Oh well. Wind up Kremlin in Crystal Caves, that's interesting. Ah, uh, I forgot how wonderful the DK64 camera is. <laughs> it, it is an, a relatively early 3D platformer, but re regardless. <laughs> That's good thinking. Oh, cool, we can buy it! Submit! Alright, I'll... I will buy the trombone. <laughs> That might lock us out. We might be locked out of saving more cones from the, with the trombone, so it's good to have that. Now watch this gonna be like, oh, if you hadn't bought that, you would have been able to get the grape shooter. No! Grape shooter is a very valuable move. Yeah. I think there are more tokens for Lanky to grab underwater. That's the problem. I don't know the coin locations in the later worlds, because by the later worlds, it's like, I already have all the money I'll ever need. Oh, yes, yes. And there's three of them, too. Excellent. Yes. Okay, cool. Now we can check out Funky's shop. Crystal Caves is the level that I uh, know the least. It's dark and cramped and 
but at the same time crowded. Splat! Rats. Eh, eh. Maybe... No, I promised I wouldn't use glitches. I was like, I could get the shockwave. No, the Kasplats can literally just be anywhere now. Unless there's normally a beaver there. <laughs> Come on! Wow, the game is not ha having a good time today. And Tiny has a move, and only Tiny at uh, Funky Store. Cool. Not sure if there's any real point in collecting the bananas, because, again, I don't think I can reach the Trophenskopf portal. Oh wait, it doesn't even matter. I have key number one to begin with. There are no Trough and Scoff portals here. Oh boy, a move for Lanky! Please be cheap. Yeah. Oh no! Okay, that's just Baboon Balloon, though, so... We don't really need that. Uh, each column has a different color correspondent to them. So, the bananas will be yellow if you play as Donkey Kong. But Lanky's bananas are blue. Because apparently he, uh, they've, they're a little overripe at this point. Oh, there's more coins. I mean, while we're here, we may as well buy Baboon Balloon, I suppose. I really hope another one of the, uh, worlds only costs one gold banana to open, then. Because I don't think we can get any of Lanky's gold bananas in here. Without the Super Simeon Slam, we can't do any of the Ice Castle ones. We can't enter the Igloo without Diddy in his jetpack, and we can't go through Lanky's Cabin without the Arrange Sprint. So, yeah, that's literally just it for Crystal Caves for now. Okay. Okay! Well, World World 2 better only cost one gold banana to enter as well. Oh shoot, can I even reach World 2? Did they, fi did they fix the vine swinging in this? Some vines, like, certain columns just can't swing across, so... I'm pretty sure in the vanilla game, Lanky is not able to swing across <laughs> these, uh, vines that are coming up. But we'll see. Oh, they added an extra vine at the end! Oh, that's great! That's that's actually really good. Now now all the cones can reach Angry Aztec. All right, here's hoping that it's only one gold banana to enter. Thank goodness. Okay, we can also start collecting hints. In the way of the horde, Monkey Port is bought from Funky and Angry Aztec. That's a good hint. Hey, Bee Locker, move out of the way. Jungle Japes, this is good. I hope we can buy Grape Shooter from Funky here, otherwise we're not saving the calm. Alright. <laughs> Big boy Kremlin. <laughs> hey Shaggy, welcome. Oh no, we have not saved Kermit Frog yet. Kermit Kong. Oh my gosh, the boss music is randomly really loud in this game. <laughs> I'm hoping we find Kermit Kong here, though. I forget if Lanky can find money underwater here. Good, he, we can. Good, this means that if we happen to, uh have Grape Shooter for sale, we can actually buy it. WHAT?! Oh no! <laughs> the Kasplat is underwater! We're gonna need orange grenades. <laughs> when you said Kasplats can spawn anywhere, I didn't think you meant including underwater. That's gonna be rough. <laughs> Splat! Oh, and we also gotta- we gotta get four crowns. Oh, no. We can't save the cone here. 
Beaver Brawl. Oh no! That's one of the worst enemies we can see. Yikes! Oh shoot! This is actually gonna be tough! <laughs> The kabooms are not fun to deal with in the arena. And it doesn't help that Lanky Kong goes flying when he takes damage. Can I throw oranges in here? Because that would really help. I can't. No! Wait, if I just never go up to the top, though... Then I'll never activate the kaboom. That's that's the key. You're lousy. <laughs> and this is the easiest crown pad. No. And that was only like 20 seconds. <laughs> well done! Oh. <laughs> I can't hear any of the sound effects over how loud the music is. I think you're gonna need a funky salt for me. But I don't have the bazooka. <laughs> Refund. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not my fault that the music in this game is so loud at times. <laughs> Gotta collect the bananas, though. We're gonna need to fight the boss, I think. Also, I believe this means we can't reach Cranky without the, uh, without freeing Diddy. Ah! Splat! Yeah, that gate, at the very least, is still closed. It's impossible to tell. I'm at the beginning of the seed. Okay, I got it. The problem is, these, the spots actually take a surprising amount of orange grenades to defeat. I also got to be on it to swim down and grab the blueprint. Because the blueprint will disappear. Wow. Yikes. Oh, I love the fast banana ports. That's great. Well, let's get our next gold banana. Also, if, if the music is crazy loud for you all, I, can, I think I can turn down the emulator volume. All of this music is just from DK64. It has a very extensive soundtrack. Well, I... No. 
<laughs> We're not getting enough gold bananas for that. What the heck? <laughs> nice, nice uh, draw distance there with the gate. <laughs> wow. Gold banana. Well, I don't think we have access to Frantic Factory yet. Or Gloomy Galleon, for that matter, right? Nope. Oh, no. Nope. 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 No, I'm not listening to that music. This is tough. There's no way Fungi Forest is only gonna need free gold bananas to enter, right? Or world whatever world five is. That would be ridiculous. No, 24. Well, what's there left to do? Because... Uh... Yeah, this is a... This is gonna be a tough one. I guess we can see if Lanky's Kasplut is somewhere we can reach. More Barrel Blast music. Hmm. <laughs> hey, JP, welcome. Uh... Yeah, this is a tough one. My only thought is, like, can I learn a move from Cranky in the training area? Previously, you could not, but eh, who knows? Because pretty much the rest of the game is hidden behind the Grape Shooter. And it's not for sale anywhere in the Crystal Caves. Aha! That's it! You can buy moves from Cranky here. Yes! Here we go. This is what's gonna open up the rest of it. Grape Shooter! Now we can save Diddy. Okay. Oh wait, who else needs moves here? Just tiny. Okay. I will try to remember that. Oh, that's cool. You can press a button and see how many blueprints you have. Do, do you want to change into Lanky Calm? <laughs> I know you already are Lanky Calm, but... Now we can go around. <laughs> you entered the main area. Epic music, epic music, epic music. It is really loud as well. <laughs> Oh. 
Maybe I can turn the... Alright. Let's see what I can do. Tools, config, sound. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's turn this down to 50. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> Diddy is fine. He's just behind bars. They're still feeding him five square meals a day. It's not even three square meals a day. Five! Whoa, whoa. Oh wait, we forgot to hit the final switch. Whoops, what a klutz I am. Also, is every character going to be purple? Well, the purpose of DK64 is to beat K. Rule in a, rest in a boxing match. They're wearing matching outfits. The, the shuffle casplots, though, are going to change my routing, because normally I just kind of go for all of the, uh... Normally I just go for all the casplot gold bananas, pretty much, but that's going to be harder to find. <laughs> Keen Calm Rule. Oh, shoot, yeah. Uh, JP, you're not allowed to swear. <laughs> This is a family-friendly stream. Ouch! <laughs> Since literally always... <laughs> Unless I'm playing a game that is explicitly not for kids. Like visual novels. <laughs> hey, Nintendo Addict, welcome. Alright, well now Diddy... Now Diddy Diddy Kong's got to go find some money as well. And I know for a fact there's money underwater for him. <laughs> Just ignore the giant guy underwater. He's already been killed. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought you saw the no swearing family friendly tags. I, I noticed. <laughs> that was it was fun editing the uh, Ocarina of Time Multi World videos. Oh good. Oh, are you having cake? Okay, Diddy's got the monies. Hopefully we can now buy the thing at the store. Whatever it is. What's up? It's a new potion that'll rock your head as okay, chimpy charge. Probably will be necessary to save one of the other cones. <laughs> I love how Funky's psalm is Cranky's psalm. <laughs> I mean, it's it's normal and common to use swears where I live too. It's just I'm trying to break that tradition. All right, DK's Casplot's over here. Whoop. Hey, threw me back in the cliff. Yeah. Get me out of here. No, don't grab on the vine. That is not a vine thing to do. Uh, English is such a funny language. Weird to not see a Kasplot in here. Shoot the pen! There we go. Get out! I like Fire Emblem. I never could get into Path of Radiance, though. 
I'd probably like it more if I turned off combat animations. <laughs> Welcome to paradise, everybody. All right, take it. Yes, peanut pop guns. That's a great move. Although we do need the guitar eventually, if we want to get for Angry Aztec. Nice job, Diddy. Is that why Mangs plays it, like, kind of in fast-forwarded mode? That actually makes a lot of sense. There we go. <laughs> nice, nicely done. What did? How is this guy surviving the rainstorm? Oh, and how did I miss that block? What chunk? They definitely speed up some of the cutscenes. In uh, or not speed up, but skip a lot of the cutscenes in DK64 for the randomizer. I don't think there's anything this way, but maybe Diddy's just away hanging out over here. This cave is a lot more eerie if there are no Kisplots. Alright, nope, nothing. So you're resetting when bad stuff happens? Yeah, that, that's the common... That's the real Fire Emblem way. Well, that's because randomizers are very frequently played by people who play them a lot and don't want to see the same cutscenes over and over again. Nope! Man, I, like, never go into this part when I do the randomizers. <laughs> the mine is just so out of the way, but <laughs> in the early game, I need all the gold bananas I can get. <laughs> Welcome to Creepy Castle. Yep, sped up teleporters is definitely an option. <sighs> see that the uh, aiming still hasn't improved on emulator. Oh, I, ha I hate this part. The camera is awful, and, and it, like, the entire board is made of ice. And there's, like, only a few pixels you can walk across. In fact, I think it's... Uh, <laughs> Despite this being, like, a first world switch to get through, like, it is way too annoying to deal with properly. Do, do, yeah, yeah. You basically have to jump across it and anticipate when the game is just going to make the camera go crazy. I like the banana port too, but I don't like watching the banana port animation like 50 times every world. So I think that this is still an uh, improvement. Thankfully that is not on a time limit, so we can pick up some bananas. Actually, wait! We can technically do everything in the mine. I, did, I forgot we have Chimpy Charge. I really don't want to do the minecart, but you know what? It's been a while since we've done it. Jump up to coal. I agree wholeheartedly. Although, in GBA Fire Emblem, I don't mind having to watch the animations over and over because the animations in the GBA one are phenomenal. <laughs> you can, but I think that would be super obnoxious. Much like how it is in the game.
Okay. Let's see if we can jump into the entrance from the top. Nope. <laughs> I don't think I was even close to the entrance. <laughs> don't get me wrong, Mario sneezing in Mario Golf is an amazing taunt. I'm just not sure how valuable it would be as a sound alert. Well, DK64 is an extremely laggy game. We all know this. That's true. I mean... <laughs> Fire Emblem animations have really gone downhill after the Game Boy Advance versions. I don't want to be that guy, but we all know it's true. That could have been bad. Get out of here, you stupid claptrap. Did he stop throwing it in the ceiling? Did he? Oh what my gosh, Diddy, you are the worst. Forget this. I'm just gonna chimpy charge the switch. <gasps> oh no. Guys, do you see that guy? That guy normally only appears in bonus games. And if he catches us, we actually get kicked out of the level. Alright, we gotta get up this first try then. Yep, he's the insta-kill guy. Here we go! Part of the reason I haven't done a Fire Emblem Randomizer since then is because the Fire Emblem Randomizer takes a very long time to complete. That's like, it's stream series in and of itself. It's not a one and done. Also because I definitely have to be in the right mood for Fire Emblem. I know you're on a dangerous minecart ride, but that doesn't mean we can't have fun with the music. Imagine if this was an actual, like, theme park attraction. Oh no! I missed out on the coin bounty. Assuming it was a perfectly safe ride. It just looks like you're gonna get burned alive by all this stuff! <laughs> it's not dangerous at all. Just ignore the uh, swaths of fire that are leaping up at you. That guy's good when he goes to the pediatrician. I am literally on two wheels for most of that. <laughs> nice dodge. No! I thought I had stopped grabbing then. That's fine. How are you going to force me to do random Skyward Sword? You have no power over what I ran what I stream or not. <laughs> you have you'd have to like find my address. Like point <laughs> point a knife at me, be like, you're playing Skyward Sword. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm playing Skyward Sword. How would random Skyward Sword even work? Seems pretty linear. Like, Ocarina of Time and Majora make great Zelda randomizers, and so does Link to the Past, but a lot of the other games do not work well as a randomizer. Like, I don't think Wind Waker would make a particularly good randomizer either. I'm 
zero out of ten. Too much sailing. See, this this is why I don't give my address out online. <laughs> Oh boy! Big Bug Bash! Everyone's favorite. I wonder how difficult it'll be. Oh, just eight. That's fine. <laughs> what fantastic music for bonus levels. Honestly, the worst part of this minigame is just the fly's laughter. And the fact that the fly swatter... And the fact that the fly swatter's hitbox is completely broken. You have to hit them with, like, the outside of the fly swatter. <laughs> I guess Minish Cap Rando could be interesting. Never actually finished Minish Cap, though. Alright, good job. Now we can fight the boss. <laughs> I'm digging the music for Str Trough and Scoff. Uh, Zelda 2 randomizer? Probably not. Because <laughs> then it's like, oh, you don't technically need the candle in order to beat the game. It's going to be Lanky Kong! <laughs> See, this music just doesn't fit the overall atmosphere, but alright. Never played Phantom Hourglass. Never had a desire to. <laughs> I've never heard of that game. That game I don't think really exists. Oh boy, I'll grab dinner. Speaking of games that would take an eternity to finish... <laughs> How about the Zelda TV show randomizer? You watch all the episodes in a random order. There are some games that are good randomized, and other games that are not. Like, I love Oracle of Seasons. One of my favorite Zelda games. That did not work really well as a randomizer, though. Donkey Kong! Donkey Kong. <laughs> I'm so glad we get to hear that twice. <laughs> The one thing that unites Zelda fans together. Also, the keys automatically get given to K. Lumsey now, which is pretty cool. So now we can go straight to World Free without needing to stop by his cage. I believe. I think I turned that setting on. Yes, we did. K. Rule knows exactly what music to put on his <laughs> ship to make everybody scared and run away. Wait a second, I don't think this music loops properly. Wonder how that's gonna work. <laughs> Tetris randomizer. Genius Proxima. <laughs> Imagine if DK Isle played for the final boss. 
I hope the Hideout Helm bo bonus barrel music plays for the final boss. You just install a patch on your copy of Tetris that does absolutely nothing. Barrier to Frantic Factory, you need, uh, you need 24. I already saw that. I'm glad it's Angry Aztec next. Oh my gosh, I have just enough. I'm glad I did the minecart right now. Diddy freezes Tiny in Angry Aztec. Oh, freeze. Not freezes. <laughs> Shrek Super Slam Randomizer. <laughs> I got Puss in Boots, I win. <laughs> Super Slab! It's apparently a Mario 64 randomizer. I was like, how does that work? Apparently it just moves to the stars to completely random parts of the map. That are obviously reachable. Which I'm like, that actually sounds pretty cool. Alright, I'll add Mario 64 randomizer to the list. Oh. Two cones I don't have. Oh, hey! <laughs> Splat! Well, we we don't have Diddy Cone's guitar. Oh, shoot, I should have gone back to Crystal Caves. I may have been able to purchase Diddy's guitar from there. Ugh! No! <laughs> Just random people say random lines. What's the score? Why would I ever do Mario 64 Chaos Edition? I've seen that game. It's awful. It's just like, oh yeah, you're you're walking, you were leaping alone. Then all of a sudden, just you, everything stops working while the music makes your ears bleed. Actually, wait. I already have key number three, don't I? So I don't need to pick up bananas. <laughs> I think you're- I think you were moving backwards. I think I would take the Shrek Super Slam randomizer over all of this. Please be tiny. Yes! <laughs> Clonad randomizer. You, you- you can choose what decisions to make, but Tomoya might just make his own decision. <laughs> This music actually works for the temples. <laughs> it's a different random game from your collection. <laughs> I, I already think... Ouch. I already think that the Link to the Past plus Super Metroid randomizer is too much. <laughs> Especially since I've never actually beaten Super Metroid. Hey, Tiny. Oh, is she just wearing her regular outfit? She's not joining Purple Gang. <laughs> That's funny right there. Okay. We've got to find Tiny Calm's uh, mini monkey ability ASAP, so that way we can get the ability to destroy the dirt patches. Oh, Artie! You left bananas behind. Yes, because I don't actually need them. <laughs> Why did they capture the cones and hide it behind a puzzle where you have to spell calm? <laughs> I don't know! But we all know that one of DK... One of Donkey Kong's greatest struggles is trying to spell stuff. All the way back from Donkey Kong Country 1. Ooh, I just need one more coin. Submit. The ponytail twirl is actually very good. All right, gotta go back to here to the aisles. Not enough cash, stranger. I need. As soon as I get Mini Monkey, I won't need cash anymore. 
I could just use a glitch to get the shockwave move early, but I promised myself I wouldn't use intentional glitches. When did I get Tiny Calm? I went to the temple in Angry Aztec to free her. That was the whole reason of going. Tiny Calm's got some coffers underwater as well, I believe. As well as maybe some coins up here? No. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Oh, wait. Nope. No bow! <laughs> and it, after all, isn't that what Artie's streams are really all about? The game is just secondary. can see the crystal coconuts, I just can't pick them up! I know! I know! I've noticed that. I used to think when you only had one melon slice left, I'm like, why does it show me I have three? You, you, you don't have three. It's a mind flip! Here we go. This is what I was looking for. Money! I've got the money! Once again, we don't need bananas for this world. So we'll just leave it! What can I buy with the money? New moves! And there's a lot of moves to buy in this game. Every cone has three unique cranky moves, a unique gun, a unique instrument, and then there's a bunch of progressive moves as well. Whoops! I could add a bunch of prequel sound alerts. <laughs> That's actually a pretty good idea. Hello there! <laughs> Oh, yes, guitar! Yeah, should have bought this before going to Angry Aztec. Oh, well. Witchcraft. Now we can head over to the Funky Con. No shared moves have we found yet. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Talked like Yoda accidentally there. There's a lot of shared moves here, so I'm surprised we haven't run into any. It's like, you want to buy an ammo belt upgrade? It's like, not really, but like, I guess I will if I've got cash to spare. Oh, wait. Diddy's Kasplot is right here. I remember that. Splat. Please be Mini Monkey. Okay, it's Saxophone Slam. That's also fine, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, it is. But I really want Mini Monkey. <laughs> I want it now. Okay, is there still a Kasplot on? Doggone it! Lanky's Kasplot is in the same place it is normally. I hate that. That's such an annoying Kasplot to get. Well, at the very least, I'm hoping I can continue the multi world rando with uh, Tsunami before the year ends, but she's having a lot of problems trying to get stuff working, so that's on temporary hold. Also, unless I'm mistaken, there are coins over there. I'm not sure if we can grab those without ponytail twirl, but we can try. Wow! Magic! 
Alright, we can always go over by Ponytail Twirl. Oh, actually, before we do that, Tiny Kong can buy something from here. Yes, yes. I would absolutely be up for that, JP. Whether it's a multi-world or a co-op seed. <laughs> yes, we will not be activating Key Sanity again. It's like, oh, this is Monkey Port, seven coins. Okay, Feather Bow? That's also good. So Tiny's clothes are not quite the same shade of blue as they normally are, but they're they're close enough. As I said before, if I'm doing co-op stuff, I'm not gonna ask people not to swear. But if I'm doing stuff like on my own, then I I can actually control the swearing, so I choose to do that. Um, hmm. If you swear in French, I mean, if you swear in French, I probably won't know you're swearing. But at the same time, now that you've said it, if I hear you, like, shout a word in French, I'll probably just assume it's a swear word. JP's actually shouting, like, pizza in French, and I'm like, hey, you can't say that. Oh, it's, it's quite... Well, here... The problem with custom music for DK64 is that you can't... De you can't disable the music. Which means if I wanted there to be no music in this, I would have to turn off the emulator's sound entirely, which means no sound effects, which is not desirable, because sound effects make the game really fun. Makes it feel like a Saturday morning cartoon. <laughs> Swearing Quebec ease. I don't think that's a language. Cranky in Jungle Japes contains Bongo Blast, Peanut Pot Gun, and Pineapple Launcher. Okay. I will try to remember that. Because Pineapple Launcher is good. Lanky's coming for you. Whee! <laughs> I've never heard of that language before. I'm not I'm not trying to be mean. I'm literally just saying I've never heard of that language before. Oh shoot. It's not D. D for disgusting. I'm one dollar short. You must have holes in your pockets. <laughs> uh, we. <laughs> oh, hi! Well, that just fell on my lap. <laughs> that is not how you said. That is not how you spell tray chic. <laughs> That's fine. If you guys aren't fluent in if you aren't fluent in French, then don't even bother watching my streams. <laughs> guys, this is America and we speak American here. I know that actually, like, half of you in chat are not from America, but... Or the United States, I should say. Because Canada is a part of the continent of America. Oh, hey! It's our first shared move! What is this? <laughs> Omelette du fromage. Back, uh, eyesight is worse than... My okay, sniper mode? Not, not now. 
Sniper mode can be useful in Creepy Castle, and that's, like, it. Oh, guys, I got the hardest achievement in the game. Getting fr uh, through that bridge to and back... To and from that bridge without falling in the quicksand. Okay, the enemies in this world seem awfully vanilla to me. <laughs> and I never learned French in school. I learned some Spanish. I don't know. I just know the Dexter's Laboratory episode about it. <laughs> hey, Mobius, welcome. I hope I can complete the seed in one sitting as well. It d kind of depends on how many gold bananas I'll need for the uh, final world. I need. Okay, hang on. I have the key for this world. I, I need to stop it with the collecting gold bananas. Stop it! Bad, Artie. Bad. Okay, we can enter the, llama, the llama temple, though. We don't actually need to free the llama in order to enter the llama temple. For some reason. Oh, yes, it's my favorite room in the game. because it has my favorite piece of video game logic ever. Think about the semantics of this for a second. <laughs> There's a Kasplot in this room, apparently. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Just how concentrated and cold is that llama's spit? To turn molten rock into just water. Donkey Kong? Nope, Chunky. DK is the last one we will be saving. Ooh, nice outfit, Chunky. He's also kind of purple game. Ah, oh, where the heck did you come from? What the? They actually implemented a guard. Okay, well that caught me off guard. It's like, you freed Chunky Kong. Oh, nope. <laughs> Dang, Chunky's outfit actually looks great. <laughs> Making weird noises makes you play better in games. It's a fact. I forget if I randomized where the sounds belong. I can speak and understand a tiny bit of Spanish, but not enough for it to actually be, like, useful. Oh, I forgot about that. Wow, Proxima, thank you so much for gifting a sub to our us. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. And now our us has that nice little star next to his name, which I really should update eventually.
Gold banana. I have not memorized that, actually. I just know that the ones that are the same color make the same sounds. And nothing more. So we've now freed Chunky Monkey. Oh wait, shoot. I can't, I don't have a rain stand, so I can't even do this. Whoops. Oof. Oh, the slowdown is real. <laughs> I know there's already... No <laughs> After those two statues, like, nuzzled, the game started moving at twice the frame rate. Yeah, I, I love this game. <laughs> it's the best. And I'm only being somewhat facetious. I actually genuinely really, really love this game. But it is exceptionally flawed. <laughs> Exhibit A, the camera. <laughs> Well, that's right. It doesn't actually take one of your instrument uses if you use the instrument on a music pad, which is, like, the only time you would actually ever use the instrument, pretty much. Let's see what Funky the Monkey's got for sale. So am I! We want DK65. I want DK65. I don't want Monkey Port yet. I'd rather have Ponytail Twirl. <laughs> Although, if they don't put Lanky Calm in the sequel, I will be annoyed. <laughs> DK128. That's also a good one. All right, let's get the twirl. Once you've saved all the cones and gotten, like, all the moves, the world is your oyster. No, I don't want Stanky Kong. Stinky Kong was in Donkey Kong Country 4. I, I remember that game where you played as DK, where you played as uh, Kitty Kong and Stinky Kong. They were, that was the best. <laughs> Guys, I would never lie to you. You know this is the truth. Let's just pick up some... some coffers. Sure, Jan. Honest Artie would never tell a lie. One hundred percent believable. Okay, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I also love how Chunky Kong is like one of the fastest characters, even though he's supposed to be big and slow. I don't need the bananas, but I want the bananas. Uh, uh. May as well get the banana in here. Plus, there's some nice coins. Oh! This means we can actually buy the monkey port as well! <laughs> Giving us literally all of Tiny's moves, except the one that I actually really wanted. <laughs> hey, Marty, welcome. Obviously, Donkey Kong 64 Rando is way more interesting than football. Shots fired, Marty's boyfriend. Yeah. 
Now, can I shoot the bird out of the sky before we run out of ammo? It's gonna be close. We only have 40 shots left. Boop a doop boop. Herp a derp a lerp a skirp a derp. Also, what are these grapes made of? Like, they make contact with things and they just, like, dissolve into mush. <laughs> How is he carrying this banana coated in gold? Gold is heavy. Time to duplicate the banana a hundred times. Okay, hopefully this one will be less scary than the last one. Critter Carnage, we g Oh no! This is the worst! I can't defeat either of those guys. I'm literally just gonna have to run away. I- The only one of these enemies I can defeat is the Kasplut. Okay, we're gonna have to use Diddy Comb because he's fast and nimble. <laughs> the thing about DK64 is it's super glitchy, but you're not likely to find a lot of the glitches if you don't hunt for them. Will this actually work? Can I trick the clump into... Oh my gosh, I can trick the clump into beating up the other guys. No! Oh man, the battle arenas are nuts if you randomize the enemies in here. I should have kept the, the arena enemies as vanilla. Okay, if it's just these two, it's easy, because you can just run away from them. But the Kasplutinous shockwave attacks are definitely throwing a wrinkle into things. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, we got this. Phew! Jeez! Still easier than the Hollow Knight Arena. No, no, I think I think it was a fantastic idea to randomize that. Okay. Okay. I think it was one of the ideas of all time. Well, I'm hoping Gloomy Galleon is going to turn into Frantic Factory. Oh wait, no, it's not. We already know Frantic. Gloomy Galleon is vanilla. Great. Alright, barrier for Creepy Castle. Okay, we need to collect a lot of bananas in Creepy Castle to fight the boss. That's kind of stinks. On the way, the mini monkeys bought from Cranky and Gloomy Galleon! Oh, that's fantastic. Our money problems are over. Cranky and Creepy's Castle contains an instrument upgrade. Cool, we don't have to f find Cranky. K roll order is Donkey Diddy Tiny Chunky. Everybody but Linky. I can kind of dig that. Oh, once again, we have exactly enough gold bananas to enter. I mean, I do randomize entrances, but whatever lobby you get will be the entrance to that world. <laughs> Ironically, Gloomy Galleon still has more upbeat music here than it does in other worlds, or than it does in vanilla. Yeah, the wrinkly, wrinkly tells you where stuff is. I love the vine hitboxes.
Thus far, the Kisplets seem to be in kind of the same place as they normally are. I actually do have to collect bananas here, too, so... Whoa! Hi, Kasplot! He's just like, you're not entering, Cranky! Yes, yes, yes! Mini Monkey! Yes! <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this moment. Soon, Donkey Kong will be stopped. So I gotta get up to 24 gold bananas. Let's get the primate punch. That'll be very nice. Chunky's got the best outfit out of everybody. With his big boy pattern. Rocket Barrel Boost? Heck yes. Man, Gloomy Galleon's got some good moves. I think the endgame worlds are just going to be here are all the shared moves, which don't really matter. <laughs> Thanks, man. Alright, let's see what this battle arena is like. More Critter Carnage. We've got bees. Beavers. Okay. We gotta avoid the bees. But the rest should be pretty manageable. And we... Well, yeah. This is way easier than the other arenas. That's way easier than the other arenas. Wilhelm's scream could be interesting, as a sound alert. I am actually running out of ammo. Whoa! Big boy! Oh lord, he coming. I feel like the Hollow Knight randomizer would definitely need hints. Or at least it could heavily benefit from hints. Ooh, whoop bam You can at least make hints optional. Like you don't you don't have to use them if you don't want to. Move it, big Kremlin. I guess it, it hints really help if you want to go for the game quickly. Well, without Donkey Kong, we can't go to the lighthouse. Which means no water level changing yet. Wait a second, we, we also have... Key number four, so... We don't need these bananas. But we do need to collect more golden bananas, so... Oh boy! Gloomy Galleon, my favorite world to collect bananas. <laughs> and we get the trash can music. <laughs> this is very different music than what I was expecting for the shipwreck. Yeah, I'm gonna try to speed Cuphead next week. Not sure which speedrun category I'll try for, but... It's either gonna be 200% all SNP or 300% all SNP. Welcome to bonus stage! Stash Snatch!
The logo music does not work well for bonus games. <laughs> so, do you want to hear monkey noises throughout the entire minigame? No. Oh, well, too bad. <laughs> Nice job, Tiny. <laughs> well, that's not the stealth game. That That's the pick up the coins game. The one that you play one time in the vanilla. Oh yeah, Stealthy Snoop! If they actually randomize the cops into different guys, that will be a lot easier. Oh, I'm actually excited for that. What's Candy selling? It's a shared move. Let's go in as Diddy Cone, because he's got the cash. Alright, uh, musical... Nope, that's the worst one. <laughs> Don't even want to buy that. Instrument upgrades are useless. Because <laughs> I never use my instrument outside of the pads. Except in, like, one or two pit places. What is Funky Kong selling at the shop? I bet it's not for shared move. It is. Some of the shared moves are actually good, though. I will actually buy the ammo belt, because I am running well on ammo. And it's only three coins. We're going to be hearing the Creepy Castle theme a lot, because there are so many variations on that song. Is there still a Kasplat up here? There is! Wonderful. Okay. Now, we can go to the easy worlds and get gold bananas instead of getting everything in Gloomy Galleon, which is a very obnoxious world. This is what I've been wanting Mini Monkey for. Oh wow, they've even sped up the tramp. That's great, I really like that. <laughs> Tiny shrinks and we it has the hunky chunky music playing. That's funny. Banana Fairy, give me the move, please. There we go. Shockwave move, come to Papa. Because it's Papa time. <laughs> we actually don't have the other one pad unlocked, that's funny. Actually, no. Let's go to Jungle Jeeps. Oh, wait. This is Jungle Jeeps. Doom, 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 doom on you. Where are we at? On the way of the Horde Primate... Yeah, I know. I already have Primate Punch. This is a nice quick gold banana. Is Squawks gold? Or is it just the lighting? Donkey Kong Country Randomizer, I think, would literally just amount to the order in which you play the levels is different. And maybe the bonus barrels are different. Chunky Freeze Donkey. Easy enough. Progressive Slam is bought from Funky and Frantic Factory. Ok. 
good to know. Alright, Tiny, let's play a bonus game. Let's hope it's something good like Speedy Sween Sortie and not Beaver Bobber. Okay, cool! Kremlin Kosh. I love this game. Oh, it's the super hard one. This one is actually easier on the emulator than the native- on the native console- On the native console, this game is borderline impossible, because you need ridiculously fast reflexes and the game lags a lot. <laughs> that was actually really easy, though. Oh, actually, we're very close to getting access to Frantic Factory. This is great. Especially since we can go to Snide and, uh, turn in a bunch of stuff. Well, yes, thank you for all the money. Alright, let's have Chunky Kong purchase that good old pineapple launcher. Oh wait, it's from Cranky here. Big cash money. And DK's Bongo Blast is here. Yes, pineapple launcher. It's like, man, wow. <laughs> The enormous orchestral serenade of death every time we we <laughs> exit. It's amazing. Yeah, we just need my favorite calm, monkey calm. True, his coconut gun does deal more damage than your average weapon. But not as much as Chunky's pineapple launcher. Speaking of... Oh, there's no Kisplot for Chunky there! <laughs> uh, it depends. But yeah, I would anticipate it wouldn't be as long as your average Ocarina Ranimo, eh? Rando. We'll just save warp. And quicker and easier, just like the dark side. Actually, is there anything... Oh yeah, we can go to the Secret Grove. <laughs> nice! Have fun with Hollow Knight, Rando. If it shoots ya... Well, uh... <laughs> that's a big if. He's still in jail. For what? Shooting people. <laughs> This is really the story of how Lanky Cohn became a hero. Oh, we don't have Hunky Chunky though, which means no bonus for Chunky Cohn.
Oh, cool. We can get one more banana than just pay Snide a visit. And then... Be oh, hey! <laughs> just got the alert that Proxima's playing Hollow Knight. I wonder what he's doing in there. We're so big! We're so big! Oh, hey! Well, that's handy. That's not handy. What's a bee doing in this giant shell? I really hope- Oh, yeah, I really hope- I OH MY GOODNESS! <laughs> Who put this giant wind-up toy in the shell? Actually, I think that's just a regular- Wait, can he even hit us? Okay, well... With his default slap, it looked like it wouldn't be tall enough, or short enough to hit us. <laughs> yeah, if Hunky Chunky plays the mini monkey music, that would be amazing. Oh no! Oh no! And Invincible Kasha. I definitely do not... <laughs> I do not support police brutality or brutality against the police, but, uh, I had to. <laughs> if Big Cop had seen me, I would have gotten kicked out of the level. Alright. Now we can pay our good friend Sny to visit. Ooh, actually, better idea. Let's play our, pay our good friend Sny to visit over in DK Isles. And we can get the last crown that we need. Or do we already have four crowns? Nope, we have three. Alright, we need one more crown. Weird voice time. Oh boy. <laughs> well, it is DK64, so <laughs> let's talk in the K room voice. <laughs> Those cards will never find my secret platform on my island. Doggone it, they found it. <laughs> and so soon. Well, <laughs> it's okay. Those cards will never find my secret blueprint carrying minions. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> they found the secret blueprint carrying minions. <laughs> you fools! <laughs> if they get their hands on enough of those blueprints... <laughs> They'll be able to clear Hideout Hill. We'll just have to make every minigame beaver bother. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't turn that setting on in the randomizer. It's very fun. <laughs> Remind me why we allowed the guy who betrayed us to be living on our island to get the blueprints for us so he can destroy our machine. Um, Master, I, I don't really know. That, that, that seems like a dumb idea. <laughs> well, I didn't order this! <laughs> I don't know, I, I can't really do the weird K. Rule voice for a while. Literally, Snide exists on the ship. <laughs> when After he's betrayed K. Rule. Does K. Rule know Snide has betrayed him? K. Rule, at the very least, has already fired Snide at, at this point in the timeline. So it doesn't make sense why he would allow him to just stay here. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I always get put on the spot when people are like, Weird voice, now! <laughs> Our blueprints are scattered, to say the least. He's like, I can't really read any important information like this, but I appreciate you trying, Calms. Two grubs, nice. Why is it playing that song again? I'm not near the island. <laughs> Submit! Ooh, two grubs already. Nice. Hachunk! It's funny because it's Hachunky Kong. 
wonder how many gold bananas we need to beat the seed. 100 is the maximum it could be. High Route Helm Lobby for Diddy's Jetpack. Interesting choice. Welcome to Bonus. Another Day. Stash Snatch. Is this the exact same one that Tiny got? This is the exact same one that Tiny got. I mean, I'll take it. Much better than the ones that give you 99 seconds of monkey noises. Well, I at least remember the path. Well done. Cool! That's an easy gold banana. Would have liked to have seen that in Hideout Helm. No, there's a lot of layouts for Stash Snatch, just a lot of them were never used. A lot of them were just left on the cutting room floor. People are selling grubs in the shop? How dare they? Okay. This will be tough, but if we can get it... Okay, cool. I don't want to have to go for the barrel cannon again. I wonder what's in here! Oh, just a fairy. Well, I guess that's fair. You said that before I even finished the pun. Alright, Frantic Factory. Probably my favorite world in the game. Really, really cool theming. <laughs> and we get the Jungle Japes music. In this world, we actually do need to get bananas, so... I'm on it. Okay! They got the cops out. Wow, the Popo's dropping ammo for me. K. Rool's like, no, listen. The cones will be in the factory. I want the police here to arrest them. Yes, your excellency. <laughs> Stop right there, criminal scum. <laughs> this music is way too happy for Frantic Factory. How about the production room? <laughs> it's Mad Maze Mall! This is actually somewhat fitting. Oh, also, I have heard from speedrunners that that switch that you press literally does nothing. All that, that that all that pressing that switch actually does is show the golden banana that already exists at the top, which is hilarious. Whereas, like, that one actually, the bonus barrel does not appear until you hit the switch. And, like, that one, obviously the gold banana doesn't exist until you push the switch, but the lanky one literally is just like, you push the switch and we'll show you a temporarily, like, helicopter angle that allows you to see this gold banana. 
Alright, Chunky Kong needs to free Donkey Kong. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh. Hey, DK. Oh, he just looks normal. <laughs> he doesn't fall as fast as Chunky does. <laughs> Glad to have you back, DK. Going to jail for six decades. <laughs> Yeesh. Would have been great if all of the cones were part of the purple game. But alas, DK and Tiny are just like, no. Ironically, Tiny, being the only girl, is like, I'm not wearing purple. That's a, that's a man's color. All right, what do we got here in this shop? Lanky, an instrument upgrade. Oh, I knew that. Yeah, no, no instrument upgrade. I'm not putting back air baseball sounds as uh, sound alerts, especially since I frequently stream back air baseball. Back again, something, how poorly, oh, homing ammo? Yeah, I'll buy homing ammo. Why not? I suppose at this point, because I've got the shockwave attack, I could just buy everything. But again, the instrument upgrade is not actually going to do anything, so... Ooh, I want to see... No, okay. Not enough! Ah, DK-64. Ah, DK-64! Grab the banana bunch. DK-64! There we go. Are the camera controls in DK64 worse than Majora's Mask? Yes. 100% they are worse. Because in DK64, there are just sometimes you can't change the camera. Even if you want to. Banana in the drain. Oh. Majora's Mask's camera is annoying is because sometimes when you like orient the camera behind the link, it'll sometimes just do a 180 on you. But in this, it's literally just like there are times where like you desperately need to change the camera, but the game just doesn't let you change the camera.
Let's see what's in here. Welcome to bonus stage. Oh no. So there are four coins to collect in 120 seconds, and we've got the stupid stealth guy, the cops. Wait, what? This is supposed to be Stash Snatch. Why are there... Who invited the co-ops? Who called the cops? Just immune to my gun. Did someone call the cops on Chunky? Cause that's not cool. Chunky is a law abiding citizen. This is what happens when you call the cops on Chunky. He cries. Welcome to bonus stage. <laughs> this is your fault. This is... I have never seen a minigame like this. So this is Stash Snatch. But it's just filled with these police. And because every single one of these guys is a police officer, I have to conclude that this is, like, actually what it's supposed to be in the vanilla. Oh, I love not being able to see where I'm going. What?! You are not supposed to turn that quickly. Welcome to bonus stage. This is a weird hybrid minigame from... Heck. I don't trust you. So now you're gonna move to the right. <gasps> no! You're not supposed to turn this quickly! I hate the, I hate the stealth games. You have to go super slowly, and I don't like going slowly. I don't need any calming tea. Nope. Look at this guy using his flashlight to take up the entire walk. You're also going to turn. So that's the goal. Oh great, is there a coin that I missed? This is awful. The least they could do is provide us a map of what the maze Welcome looks like. Bonus stage. But this is literally just trial and error. And again, this is one of those minigames that was, uh... ...created, but never actually included... ...in the base game. So all this is brand new to me. Uh, nope, nope! So I think there's actually a coin this way that I must have not grabbed! Look at this guy! Look at this. What is this? A cop who's actually good at his job? What?! That is not the direction you were supposed to move in. Welcome to bonus stage. For some and for some stupid reason, they took away all of my grenades, so I can't even blow the cops up. 
I really hope my condo neighbors aren't listening to this, like, out of context. They're like, what is this guy doing? Boo! 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 Can I get past this guy? Thank you. It doesn't help that the music is... No, this is not even music. This is literally just like, you want to hear monkeys hooting and hollering? Here you go. For 130 seconds. He's like, is the money safe? <gasps> Nope, 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 nope. What? Oh, I hate this game. Welcome to bonus stage. I probably should have just cut my losses and stopped because this game is awful, but I'm in too deep now. Did that guy just burp in my face? How dare he? Welcome to bonus stage. Well, I mean, the reward at the end will be a golden banana. That much is certain. See, the annoying thing about this guy is, like, you can't go around him on either side. Because he keeps the flashlight in the dead center of the hallway. down here? There's not. There better be two coins down in this hallway over here, then. Don't get stuck on the wall. Don't get stuck on the wall, you Aquit! It doesn't help that the wall looks exactly the same as the floor, because everything Welcome is pitch freaking thing. black. This game is the worst. Well, no, it's not. Beaver Bobber is still worse. Is there a coin down this way that I just forgot about? No, there's not. Coin down this way. Is there a coin down this way that I forgot about? Nope. Nope. Everything's a dead end. <laughs> Don't trust that for one second. No. Oh, that's bad. No! He cornered me! I hate this mini game so much. Welcome to bonus stage. At least this stupid minigame's not in hideout help. That's the one consolidation. But I have a feeling Chunky! Good lord! I need you not to get stuck in the wall. Which I know is a lot to ask for in Donkey Kong 64. 
Welcome to bonus stage. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help. <laughs> Chunky does have the most annoying of the you got caught animations. <laughs> Yeah, can we blow past the first part pretty quickly now? The cop's just totally ignoring that he's getting blasted with pineapple. I still have no idea how to reach the last two coins. Well, one of the last coins, I don't even know where it is. The other one, I've seen it, but how do I get it? <laughs> It's like Coral trying to get the Sorcerer's Stone. Wait, what? Okay, so here's... So there's another coin down a dead end that I haven't seen before. At least I know where the last coin is. I'm just try trying to figure out how spatially to get there. Okay, there must be, like, just a way you can go that I haven't seen because the whole thing is pitch black. Oh my gosh, that... That's kind of evil. Get out. Yep, there was one behind you at the start, but it wasn't visible on the camera unless you moved backwards. the worst. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was so terrible. Why would you combine two minigames into one? And why didn't it randomize all the enemies there? You know what's the most exciting thing about winning? It's when you win. I love that feeling. That DK, grab that DK. <laughs> do do, <laughs> it's Mad Maze Mall. Huh? It's Mad Maze Mall. Huh? Uh, yes, we're going to the mall, but not for all. <laughs> if we had had the Mad Maze Mall music for that, that would have been a lot more fun. Stupid beaver. Oh. Golden beavers drop two watermelon slices, apparently. Splat! <laughs> yes, DK, make every grunt in the in the dictionary. Oh wait, I already grabbed that. <laughs> uh oh.
take that. Dictionary of grunts, I'm sure there is. I definitely didn't just have a brain fart moment. Okay, I think at this point the only person who actually needs tokens is Donkey Kong, so I should probably stop going out of my way to grab them. Testing department. We gotta make sure we gotta test all the toys out. <laughs> okay, we need just shy of 300 bananas in this world. Okay, yeah, we're not. We're still not even close. <laughs> go. Locked and loaded. We already know how many K roll phases there will be. There will be four. We don't have to do the lanky phase, but the others, we do. It's just a mushroom hanging out here. Oh my gosh, you can't hide that from me. That's just wonderful. Shared move? <laughs> Me have idea! We share move! Super Simeon Slam? Yeah! Super Simeon Slam. The big butter Sebastian. I love the fake Latin names for all of Cranky's moves. Thank you! Ooh, let's see if we can get to this bonus barrel without needing Baboon Balloon. Oh, but first, Di Tiny will play a game of darts. There's no rule against not being allowed to go farther closer to the dartboard. Watermelon. The hitboxes on these are also not the best. why the banana fairy only appears after you grab this golden banana? It doesn't make any sense to me, but alright. Oh wait, I have Baboon Balloon. I forgot about that. Oh, yes! An actually good minigame for once. Oh, and this is one of the ones that was never used in the real game. <laughs> Where you've got to avoid the zeners on the way. Grab the vine, will you please? Oh, 
Okay, this game is really annoying with Lanky, actually. Because Lanky's hitbox is enormous. And will hit the bees really easily. Lanky. No, you but that bee turned around way faster than the other ones. Welcome to bonus stage. That's okay. We can jump on this tree to begin with now. Come on. <laughs> Flubbed it up at the end there, but that's okay. We can also cheese our way on top of the uh, block tower. But first, Donkey Kong has to learn to count. <laughs> Banana Fairy stuck on the floor. Just pretty normal stuff. Oh, wait. Shoot. Well, we can't hit the balloon, but that's okay. Alright, have a nice lunch, R.S. <laughs> Got a ground pound, DK. Oh wow, they actually put lines under the six and the nine to help you uh, differentiate between the two. Instead of just asking people to be smart. And boom! I knew we could count to 16. Okay, with the randomizer mechanics, I think we can actually cheese our way on the block tower without needing... Simeon's brain. Flanky would just... Here we go. I've never heard the end of the Baboon Balloon uh, sound effect before. That's kind of interesting. Okay, maybe we went to the wrong side. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. Four bananas playing and that there's so many more. We can climb the rest of the block tower. Oh, wait, no, don't we need the simian sprint at the top? Well, we can at least pick up some bananas. Oh, yeah, actually, no, we totally need it. Actually, do we? Oh! Wait, hang on. <laughs> no, you don't need the simian sprint! You just have to wait for the, the barrel to be at the bottom. That's kind of funny. Oh, great. I don't like this game. Alright, which direction are you going in? You're going to the left? Cool, I'll stay here. Oh no, that's not good. The barrels are off sync! <laughs> okay... Now we go inside... Cool, 
Okay, cool. This is good. All right, there we are. If you can get the two TNT barrels on the same area, then that really helps make that easier. Uh oh, wait. Oh no. So we can beat the bonus game, but we can't actually pick up the banana. Life is so unfair! <laughs> In my mind, I know I don't need the tokens, but in my heart, I still have to pick them up. I will not pick up those tokens. Okay, do we have 269? No, we don't. Still didn't kill him? Wow, he's, he's, he's a tough cookie. I literally, I kid you not, I picked up the blueprint and doing that locked up my control so I had to be forced off a cliff. Well, that's fine. This better not be vanilla. <laughs> if this is vanilla, I'm gonna be annoyed. No! You what? We still might be able to reach it, though. Just not with Diddy Kong. <laughs> Uh, no. Come on! Go! Oh, oh. Welcome to Bonus Oh stage. no! Why? At least okay. At least this is actually Stealthy Snoop and not Stash Snatch. Why are all the cops still in this though? Shouldn't they have already been shuffled to other locations? Why can't they replace some of the cops with like? I don't know, dominoes. Oh. Well done. Oh, we got the easy map. Thank goodness for that. Until I think we need to get Gorilla Grab before we can get all the bananas that we need. blood in here? There's not. But we can get the hint. Actually, you know what? I don't need the hints anymore. I know the K rule phases, and at this point, we're far enough in that I don't think the hints are going to be worth it.
the hitboxes in this game can be rather questionable at times. DK and Chunky. Oh, hey, it's Gorilla Grab. I need that. <laughs> now we can finish up Frantic Factory. <laughs> Actually, no, we can't. We also need Coconut Gun to enter the Power Hut. And here's Hunky Chunky. Nope, Triangle Trample. That's also necessary. Actually, I think we literally just need every move with Chunky. Like, I think no matter what seed you get, you need every move as Chunky. Because you need basically all of them for the final boss. Right, I'm pretty sure we're sold out for candy here, but I'm going to double check just to make sure. Candy, are you sold out? Yeah, you are. Okay. I don't really intend on getting a bunch of Gold Bananas and Crystal Caves, most of the ones there are pretty slow. Especially when we still have places like Jungle Japes to go to. Okay. I, uh... Must have completely missed all the warp pads there. <laughs> We can pick up DK's bongos here. Another move that we're going to need. <laughs> the underwater kiss what? Always crack me up. TK's like, this taste is terrible. Oof. Why are you making me drink this? I need that coconut goat, though. It does fire in spurts. Alright, now we can go back to Angry Aztec. <laughs> K. Roll's just got a giant pyramid in his uh, ship. I guess you could call it a pyramid scheme. I suppose the one thing the hints would be nice for is figuring out how many gold bananas we need to beat the seed. We can also do some jug matching. This is a quick one. Thank you. The developers were a little lazy with Chunky's regular bananas in this world. Almost all of them are in bunches. And, like, <laughs> there are five or six bunches all just right next to each other in the tiny temple. Oops. 
That's not where the jug needs to go. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Look at, oh my gosh, the game is running at like half the frame rate. Move it! Screaming in agony over having to go that slow. <laughs> Vanilla music in Angry Aztec is definitely interesting. <laughs> Baboon Blast. Was really hoping for Coconut Gun. I don't think he has anything for sale here at Funky's, but I can always check. And we can get some other easy gold bananas here as well. Now, I found the vanilla game, like, DK's the only one that is not allowed in this temple. It's like, Donkey Kong? Uh-uh. He sucks. <laughs> I actually would like that watermelon refill, please. Hey! That's not very nice. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or a glitch when the guys, like, spin into the sky when you do that, but it's funny regardless. <laughs> I love the creme in a sheet. Oh no! Toy blocks! I'm waiting for five cops to come out the door. Imagine if the door opens and like just five police officers walk out, catch you, and throw you out of the level. Hey, Fatso! Move out of my way! These guys have always been some of the weirdest enemies in the game to me. Actually running low on those crystals. Uh. Where's the entrance? There it is. I'm like, I thought I was on this wall. It is on this wall. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let the crystal coconuts run out. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're good. All right, what enemies will we face here? Spiders. I am paranoid in case a police officer arrives. Yo, you cool, man. I'm also so happy in the random in the randomizer you never have to deal with the monkey tons, which are the worst. Down with the monkey tons. Oops. 
Only the OG DK64 fans will know what I'm talking about. Now, will there still be a Kasplut on the roof? No, there's not a Kasplut on the roof. Well, hunky dory. Oh, that's right. We don't actually have Hunky Chucky yet. We just have the triangle. Mm. Whoosh! Mm. Now to jog my memory, if Funky is selling anything for Donkey Kong here. He is not, but he's selling something for Chunky and something for Tiny. Chunky has forty dollars. Oh, there's Hunky Chunky. Oh, I'm so happy. Kaboosh. And this means that time. Oh yeah, and Monkey Port. That's right. Because I was gonna go back and buy Monkey Port. Become big. <laughs> Still no arena stand, though. <laughs> arena stand, Simeon Spring, and Stromcom are still mysteriously missing. All right. This is at least an easy banana for Diddy. I'm not sure why they replaced the shadow of Diddy's face with, like, actually Diddy's face, but... Oh well. There you go. I will not be racing the beetle, though. Because that gold banana stinks. the bird either. It's too time-consuming. I will, however, unlock the Totem Temple. In case I want to go back to it. Feed me. Would you be okay if I fed you feathers? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I think back to Frantic Factory to finish things up there. Oh yeah, and Gloomy, Gloomy Galleon does still exist. Actually, hang on. I should go to Gloomy Galleon first. Because there might be something for DK there. Like the coconut gun. I hope the coconut gun is here, because I'm actually running out of bananas to grab in Frantic Factory.
Another easy banana to grab. Actually, there are several other easy bananas to grab in DK Isles, but we'll grab those after we leave Gloomy Galleon. The glitch fix uh, fish music. <laughs> yeah, the, the mecha fish music is interesting. Actually, wait, no, there's nothing here for DK. I just remember, there's literally nothing here for DK. Because there was the shop that sold the music upgrade, the shop that sold the ammo upgrade, and then Cranky is sold out. I remember that. Yeah, the triangle now. <laughs> Squawks, why can't you just grab give us all the gold bananas? Why do we have to play a song for you to convince you to do this? What if there was a Kasplut inside of K-Wumsy's cage? Like, not just in the hut where he's in, but like literally inside his cage, and you couldn't get it unless you, uh, <laughs> unlocked all the locks. I do like how quick most of the DK Isles gold bananas are. Nice camera! Can't see where I'm going. Definitely should have grabbed this when I came here to get the, uh... Shockwave attack? Oh well. Alright, let's see what the Hunky Chunky music is. <laughs> yes! <laughs> it is the Mini Monkey music! Oh, that's hilarious. Don't worry, it's just a gentle sound. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I have... Um... Wow! I can't believe that. There, his kasplut is inside of the rock. And I squashed- I've never squashed a Kisplut with Hunky Chunky before. That's hysterical. <laughs> That's so good. But he didn't drop a blueprint, because I just- I think I destroyed the blueprint by crushing him. Uh, 
Okay, well, no coconut gun, but coconut gun is hidden behind what I thought the coconut gun needed, so... There must be some other miscellaneous bananas we can collect here. Probably there's some in the R&D chamber. Okay, we don't need a huge amount more. I know at least there's a lanky balloon in here. I don't really want to do the uh, burp burping xylophone, though. That's a good reason to not be part of the stream. Oh, there's there's some Diddy Balloons in here as well. But a lot of the regular bananas are in the production room, and we can't reach that high without- Oh, yes! Here's the gold mine. I forgot how many Diddy Balloons are in this room. I actually got a banana medal. Okay, we just need 20 more, uh, bananas. And I believe we'll get them in this room. I can already see a chunky balloon. And I think there's some individual bananas in this room as well. Yes, there is. The evil toy box. Oh, vanilla mini boss music. Actually, is this fight just vanilla in general? It sure seems like it. I knew this part would have to be the same, because you have to fight the domino monster. This is not normal. This guy's a lot easier once you realize you don't have to primate punch him. Yeah. Well, at least the fungi forest boss, you can primate punch him enough. But here, like, if you primate punch that guy, you're basically going to take a hit. And with only two watermelons, that's actually really not enough. Oh, I guess there was more bananas down that way. Oh well. We still have enough. Which boss will we be fighting? I'm guessing it'll be Puffdus, because the game loves making me fight the pufferfish.
Yeah, a huge amount of Linkies are high up in the production room. Chunky has eight. We have literally, like, one extra banana. And boom! Please don't make me fight the Pufferfish with Donkey Kong. All right. <laughs> if this is the freaking pufferfish, actually, hang on. Okay, I have full health. Oh. Oh. Okay. This guy's easy. Pufferfish with Donkey Kong is so dumb because for some stupid reason Donkey Kong's boat is slower than everybody else's boat. Which makes the Pufferfish like twice as hard. And the Pufferfish is already kind of difficult. Well, this fight's easy, it's just long. He was only supposed to do one shockwave, not two. Yeah, it's version two of the armadillo. You can tell by the caves that we're in instead of the jungle. Wow, these fireballs have a big hitbox. Wait, what? Um... I'm very confused. He's only supposed- he's supposed to need free hits. Whoa, and he's going fast. Okay. I mean, I'll take a faster fight. I'm just very confused as to why two TNT barrels destroyed his cannons. Uh -huh. How do you fit that in his shell? This is an interesting fight, but it is in some ways easier than the first armadillo. Because he barely has any new attacks and you've got triple the HP you have for the first armadillo. Goodbye. All right, will World 6 be Fungi Forest or Creepy Castle? Yeah. There's a 50% chance Creepy Castle will be vanilla. I guess it doesn't really matter, it's just because we have access to both of the worlds. It's just one of them will have a higher gold banana requirement than the other. Okay, Creepy Castle is vanilla. <laughs> you only need 28 gold bananas, this is great. Cool, we can go in, buy the moves. Fight the boss and get out. <laughs> Welcome to Fungi Forest, I guess. Getting a lot of bananas in this world can be annoying, though. Although a huge amount of them are inside the mushroom. <laughs> that was almost a big mistakey.
This is K. Rool's Get Psyched remix. Come on, give me a DK move. It's a shared move. Alright. Well, if this is Simeon Slam, I will buy it. There we go! It's Super Duper Simeon Slam. Bigger but a Spashium. That, that is actually worth it. Oh, I, I also probably should go back and buy Sniper Mode for Creep... Actually, nah. We don't need Sniper Mode for Creepy Castle. It's just helpful for certain Golden Bananas. Hey, man, you're the apple of my eye. Squish him! Squish him! Squish him! <laughs> Squish the evil Bob the tomatoes. Oh, shoot, we're gonna run out of crystal coconuts. We're not gonna have enough crystal coconut power to carry this guy. No, no, no! This place won't do- and then he just disappears. Wow. Okay, we gotta find Cranky so he can replenish our, uh, supply of crystal coconuts. We are making good progress. It's hard to tell for sure how close we are until I know the Hideout Helm Gold Banana requirement. It could be as many as 100, or it could be less than that. Need that coconut gun. Whoa. Okay. We could get the coconut gun here. Yes. We now have all the guns in the game. As an American, this makes me very happy. So it looks like this shop's going to have Coconut Gun, Simeon Spring, one of the Arrain Stands, and uh, Gorilla Gone. Give me that Spring. Weepus Largium. Cranky's like, I'm good. <laughs> if you thought that was good. Come back in, it's lanky. I'm hoping for the rain. If I get the rain stand sprint before the rain stand, how will that even Lanky's like, I can run on my hands, but only really fast. Okay, no, it's the it's the rain stand. Are you having cake? I am not having cake. Although I do have cake in my house. And yes, I would love Gorillagon, please and thank you. Where's Zimgonium? I don't think so. But maybe. Come on. There we go.
I was really worried there was going to be a police officer on the top of the mushroom. <laughs> Welcome to bonus oh boy, day. we get to gamble. But we actually get to control each part of the slot machine. Oh, it's going fast. Nope, did not want the grape. <laughs> yeah, one second left. And people shouldn't gamble, period. Wow. No. <laughs> All right, I believe... I got that messed up. Shoulder barge. That is not a sure fan. And even if it is, I don't like the idea of people taking money from others. You have 60 seconds to shoot the pieces of the puzzle to show Chunky Kong's face. That is not... Give me that gold banana. Wow! Hit detection much? Ugh. Oh, Donkey Kong 64. Wow, that guy is really slow. giant mushroom, it's like, hey, you want to hear Candy's, like, love sound? No. Not especially. Look how slowly that guy's running at me. Have some candy! You missed Candy's music for the five seconds you weren't listening to it. Here it is again. Alright, what minigame will we get? It better not be another one of those stupid mazes. Or if so, Mad Maze Mall, please. Welcome you to got... bonus stage. Why the game is obsessed with giving me the stupid stealth games. This is actually good stealth music though. Okay. Oh wait, is this literally just the one I did when I had to collect money, but now I don't have to collect money? No no no, they're saving the beaver bobbers for hideout helm. When I'm on a very strict Welcome time limit. To bonus stage. There must be a lot of unused stealthy snoop maps.
Because there are only two stealthy snoops in the entire game in the vanilla version. Welcome to bonus stage. I wonder if I can swap the DK in the middle of this. Oh, I totally can. I'm gonna shoot the speed fins up a little bit. Oh shoot, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. Dude! Flashlights. Well done! That's, so that's the, yeah, that's the exact same layout as the random stash snatch with all of the stealthy guys. Donk E Kong. That makes it slightly more bearable. Oh, I already have key number six. Oh, then I don't. Then I don't need any of these bananas. Okay, no kisplats here. There's like a split. And I started out with a lot of keys then. Case, we might even be able to just dip out of Fungi Forest. But if there's like a spot in here, which there is. Okay. Alright, let's see if we can head out to Crazy Castle now. Or Creepy Castle. Crazy Castle's the scenario in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. See how many gold bananas we need. We have 56, we need 61. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I've streamed Open RCT2, which is Roller Coaster 1 and 2 combined. Roller Coaster Tekken 1 and 2 combined. So I have, actually. Welcome to oh, B! We get to smash the bugs! The key for this game is to smash the bugs as soon as they appear. Bugs keep coming from. So that's quite a sharp increase on the amount of gold bananas we need for uh, creepy casts. 
the camera did a complete 180, which completely screwed me up. You know, you could go back to the other worlds that you don't have any cool bananas in. No! Going back to Jungle Japes. Jungle Japes is the only one that understands me. Splish. At least now that we have the coconut gun, we can get all the Rambi gold bananas. Let's see what's in here. Welcome to Bonus Oh Day. yes, I was wondering when we'd see one of these. It's only the most common minigame in the base game. Okay, that beaver's getting a little close. Ooh, green Rambi! With the vanilla Rambi music. That is a gigantic block. Another weird voice, eh? Alright. Hmm. I suppose I could do the Jorge Garcia voice <laughs> for the next 60 seconds. Oh dear, there's no other Kasplats back here. I wonder why that is. Oh well. Let's get the randomly really hard boulder switch. Uh, <laughs> special. For some reason, this gold banana is in World 1, yet it's a really difficult banana to get. Especially if there's a Kasplat in our way. <laughs> it's not even worth taking the warp pad back. We're just going to be really fast. I suppose we could take the two pad warp to speed things up a little bit. Actually, this is probably the way you're supposed to get it. You can get it without the two-pad warp, but it's very, very tight on the time. How grand. Whee! There's also a couple of other quick bananas we can pick up. I normally never get this one, because I always forget about it. Here we go! Barrel Blast course! <laughs> we get the Barrel Blast course music, for, but for a different world! That 
was pretty good, if I do say so myself. Very little time lost. Back to the secret grove so Chunky Kong can get his super big bonus barrel. <laughs> Yeah, we're definitely beating this in one stream, no question. Welcome Aha! To Busy barrel. Oh, whoa! Different enemies here, and that beaver is giving me a death glare. Oh, this is really cool, though. Uh, I was supposed to make that block. Doesn't look like it's doing anything. Oh, this is crazy. <laughs> I think I got stuck for a while. Why is that block taking so long to spawn in? Good lord. Granted, we do have to collect a lot of regular bananas in Creepy Castle. So that will take some time. We have to collect almost 80% of the bananas in that world, so... No, no, I, pro I promised I wouldn't use glitches. The fast warp, uh, the fast banana ports are actually messing with the music a little bit. There didn't used to be a limit, because it never became an issue. I gotta love slope physics in these games. <laughs> they make no sense. Okay. <laughs> I think there are like three other gold bananas we could potentially get in that world, but... Honestly, because we have to explore so much of Creepy Castle to get all the bananas we need, we can pick up some extra gold bananas in this world. There are also, like, half the worlds we haven't even really touched with regards to gold, gold bananas. We've exhausted pretty much everything in the Isles and what Jungle Japes, score? and we've gotten a good amount in Angry Aztec and Frantic Factory, but, like, Fun Guy Forest we haven't touched, Gloomy Galleon we haven't touched, Crystal Caves we haven't touched, and now Creepy Castle we haven't touched, and this is wildly inappropriate music for Creepy Castle. Well, the best way to start collecting bananas on this world is to just start walking up on this trail. <laughs> Great. 
creepy castle. Let's get this cool, jazzy, funky army theme. Guess we can take a brief detour to see what candy is selling us. Also, probably should have gotten sniper mode. I think Candy is selling a muse. No, Cranky is selling a music upgrade. I'll buy the ammo upgrade. Why not? I'm really looking for the. Uh, so I think this means Funky is selling the furred watermelon, which I actually really want. <laughs> no, that that's literally the only upgrade left, yeah. Alright, we gotta find Funky on this level then. And buy that furred watermelon. As it turns out, Funky is right next to the one pad. Just take a blind jump, and bada beam, we're in the catacombs. Yes, more bananas. Oh, hey! Wait, then where's the furred watermelon? And here's Stromcom. Donkey Kong was the only one who was short on cash. Okay, we almost have a hundred gold ba- <laughs> hundred gold- We almost have a hundred regular bananas already, which is great. There's also a red balloon here that I remember. Hasn't he blown himself up yet? I'm not going to come on and let you blow me up. I cannot whistle. Let's 
Let's grab all them bananas. Oh, also. Aha! Depends on if he keeps spending them. You call that entertainment? Do my best, man. Do 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 do. Now I can pick up even more bananas. Again, that is one nice thing about Creepy Castle. A lot of the bananas are literally just in a line from the bottom of the castle to the top. Okay, was was the was there a lie here? Is this actually the furred melon? No, that's. Wait, you get 450 already bucks for free just for being at the stream when it starts? Really? Let's bust into the museum. Why not? It should be fun, and there are some bananas in here. It's the end of Donkey Kong 64, but actually it's just the museum song, don't mind us now. I think there are bananas in here. At the very least, it's an easy gold banana. <laughs> There was a balloon in here. There is. Okay, good. Clutch. All right, DK, you can get out of here. You're the fastest. Move your club! You were rudely blocking my way. Oh, that's why. Does that still work if, like, my OBS disconnects and then reconnects? Does that technically count as a different stream and you get the ex additional points? Oh boy. More easy gold bananas. This banana in particular is ridiculously easy to grab. Pretty sure they forgot to disable your ability to use the instruments in here, because you can just play your instrument insta kill all the flies for a very easy banana. Those flies are a huge pain in the butt to deal with with the your feather bow. Ah, uh, I see. Okay. That's actually smart of them. I can't believe it. Twitch never makes smart decisions. Artie's hot take of the day. Also, then... Did I lose my marbles? Or did I, did I actually buy Lanky's Arena Sprint? I mean, it doesn't really matter, because I never use it for this maze anyways, but still.
Okay, I did. I just, my brain completely forgot that I did. Hey, do you want to get another crown? I know you want to get another crown. Don't think so. <laughs> oh no, a bunch of enemies. One of the few times I actually do use my instrument outside of instrument pads. Boom shaka waka. Okay, we are we're doing great on this level. It helps where I, I know where all the big caches of bananas are, but still. <laughs> Strangely fitting music for the ballroom outside of the seagulls. <laughs> Camera! Can you please not suck? mystery that has spawned off like a hundred fan theories. That was the credits music in the museum. This is the gloomy galleon music. Noticed you hadn't lit any of the candles in Crystal Cage yet, so we wanted to zoom in on the candles to let you know you can light them. I, don't cook the banana. Grab the ba damn bananas! Banana bunch is so hard to grab. Rats. No, okay, I have to get in there with it. <laughs> oh, baby, me, bug! I actually don't mind this game that much. Because you can get into like a rhythm of crushing the bugs as they spawn in. It's not foolproof, but... It is definitely a garbage minigame. No, no doubt about that. But it's definitely not as bad as, like, Beaver Bobber. Well done. <laughs> there- yes! Correct! There is a much worse game. 
and see if I can shoot this out of this guy. Booyah! And we still have one coconut left. Oh yeah, that's a good amount of bananas. I like that feature, you can just pull up your banana totals with a press, press of a button. <laughs> it's like the dead of night on this level, it's like, we're not sleeping, we're raving. I am disappointed that there's no longer Thunder and Lightning in Creepy Castle. I don't know why they took it out of the emulator, maybe to like, reduce. <laughs> Duck on it! I got caught by the Popo. I always knew this day would come. Snides hired a security guard, man. The DK pads are just really, really hot to the touch. Now there's thunder and lightning! And more... more Barrel Blast music that's not actually... the Barrel Blast music. At least not the Barrel Blast music for this level. No! Too high! I don't even know if I want to enter the tree, to be honest. No, I don't want to enter the tree. There's like a few bananas in there, but not a lot. There are much better things we could be doing with Donkey Kong, like giving Valentine's. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Are you guys seeing this? That's where Diddy's freaking kiss blood is. <gasps> that kiss blood is a little... <laughs> I guess you could say that kiss blood has his head in the clouds. <laughs> okay, well that was a bit of a far drop. I jump back up. Where am I? I don't even know where I am right now. Guess it doesn't matter. You know the game is slow when just entering the level lags the game. Let's try to beat up the Kisplut. Although first I think we should grab the bonus game. Uh oh. <laughs> Did we really need Funky's theme for like two seconds? Welcome to bonus I was about to say, if this is another freaking bug minigame. Oh, 
must say, though, the fact that we have not run into Beaver Bobber yet is worrying to me. Well done. Granted, there are a bunch of bonus barrels in Gloomy Galleon and Crystal Caves that we have not touched, but... Hover in place button finally helps me out for once. <sighs> Alright, now we are gonna go and turn in our blueprints, but we're gonna kill the cop along the way. give us enough golden bananas to enter Hideout Helm. Unless Hideout Helm has a crazy high requirement. Oh, we have to figure out what the fun what the boss is gonna be of this world. It could be Army Dilla 1, Mad Jack, the Pufferfish. Dogodon 2, or King Cut Out. Out of those, the one that would be the fastest would be Army Dilla 1. This should also give us a lot of time for uh, Hideout Helm. Maybe not enough time, depending on how many beaver bobbers show up, but... Considering we haven't encountered any of the Hide on Helm minigames up to this point either, I'm guessing a lot of them will be vanilla. Which I definitely can go for. Just gotta figure out where I want to go for the remaining bananas. Definitely the library. Then maybe the tree? Oh no, I, I'll go back to the catacombs. The coffin room of Chunky has some stuff there. 80 gold bananas, that'll probably be enough. Oh, we're actually missing a lot of blueprints. Mainly with Donkey Kong. Bombs away! Um, Brilliant, Donkey Kong. Alright, let's go to the library. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Do 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 do. Like anytime you get close, it's just like you want to change the camera angle. Oh, cool! That time it actually worked. This is very fitting music for the library. Just be quicker to deal with them via the bongo blast. Cops to show up. Oh, hey, we even have Skull Kong. <laughs> it's the on guard music. You know, I'll be honest, I really thought there were more bananas in here than that. Oh, there are. I just have to jump for them. Fine, I'll go back and get strong calm again. All right, we're really close now. Oh, I, never, I know another area that we haven't explored that has a good amount of bananas, too. Let's see what this is. Uh... Good thing we got tag anywhere. I don't know how they would expect you to do that without Lanky Calm and Insta Tag, but all right. That's the first hideout home bonus barrel we've seen. There should be some miscellaneous bananas in here. Aha. <laughs> Definitely inappropriate music for uh, Creepy Castle. One of these should have hit the balloon by now. There we go. We getting closer. Cloody was getting nearer. This is what I was looking for. Okay, we're four bananas away. And I believe there's another there's a Diddy balloon in here. There is. Excellent. And there we go. 
Now we just gotta find a trough and scoff. Oh, there should be one actually in the catacombs area. Uh, near Candy. Oh, gold banana. I believe there's one in here, right? Yes! Oh, shoot. I thought it was, uh, 369. Okay, so we'll need 10 more. That's okay. I know where we can find 10 more as well. Uh, that's the wrong side that I wanted to go in. Oh well. We never actually did check out what's over here. Is there still a Kasplut? No, there's not. Just some DK coins. Alright. Okay. I hate how you, if your character gets stuck on the wall so easily. Here we go. Do -do -do. I love the camera doing a 180. Quick, down this long, creepy corridor. This is big brain time. <laughs> this is actually fitting music. I love it. Be a turbo mental around here somewhere. <clears throat> so we have enough regular bananas now. Welcome to bonus day. Oh boy, this minigame sucks as well. Partly because of the swing controls, and partly because um, the fixed camera is garbage. And also the uh, starfish don't make it any more fun either. Easy enough once you get the hang of it. Okay. We do a quick save warp. I hate the bridge at the beginning. Once again, it's a case of the bridge is made of ice, really easy to fall off of, and the camera screws you over. Even And even like a max range tiny twirl is still not quite enough to get across, so you have to brave it at least a little of it. It's awful. Alright guys, which boss will it be? Will it be Armadillo? 
Dogodon, Jack in the Box, Pufferfish, or Cardboard Cutout King K. Rule. I'm personally hoping for the Armadillo. I would also be happy with Mad Jack or King Cutout. They're both weird. Dogodon is also... I'm basically just hoping it's not the Pufferfish, <laughs> who is super obnoxious. Especially if it makes me fight the Pufferfish's Donkey Kong. Just barely enough. Donk. <laughs> Who will it be? It is, it's just immensely difficult. Especially with only two watermelons. It's okay, we're safe. So this means it's not going to be Mad Jack. It's also not going to be Dogodon. So, will it be Cutout, Pufferfish, or Armadillo? Oh, perfect! Armadillo. This will be easy. What the heck? I'm throwing the barrel at him, what do you want from me? You didn't hit him exactly on the nose. <laughs> the music is making this sound like it's a really sad fight. We literally got the three easiest bosses. We got the two armadillos and the first Dokadon. Those are literally the three easiest fights in the game. Maybe not the three quickest fights in the game, but definitely the well, two of the quickest fights and then the, like the longest fight. The flashing is making use of epilepsy warning. Loser. I don't love it when even the pause menu lags. DK64 is an exceptionally laggy game, after all. Okay, before we go to Hideout Helm, a couple things I want to do. I want to purchase Sniper Mode in case we get the mo one of the minigames where it's like, Snipe the guys! And I want to see if we miss the third melon on a Gloomy Galleon. Because Gloomy Galleon, I, th I thought they said, like, oh, it's a music upgrade, but it might have just been... I don't know. No one breaks their leg like Gaston. All right, here's sniper mode. What's well, annoying is that the Fur and Watermelon is technically an upgrade you get from Candy's Music Store, but it doesn't make let you make more racket, it just lets you 
survive more attacks. I probably don't need it, but it's annoying me that I haven't found it yet, so... Oh, actually, well, probably the smart thing to do would be check how many gold bananas I need to enter Hideout Helm, but that way, if I actually have to go back... Yeah, I gotta figure out. So, if I need to collect more gold bananas, like, let's say it is actually 100. I'm trying to figure out where would be... The... I might go to Crystal Caves, honestly. There are some... There are some quick gold bananas in Crystal Caves. And there are some quick gold bananas here as well. Not a lot, but a few. Yeah, so what is her, what is her exact phrasing here? So she, so she says it's an instrument upgrade. Oh, are these progressive, so you need to buy the first music upgrade in order to get the, uh, furred watermelon? That would stink. But I, th I think that probably is the case. Darn it. You know what? Creepy Castle's kind of on the way, so... I mean, it makes sense that, like, the ammo belts and the music upgrades are progressive. It doesn't make sense why the Furred Melon would be progressive, because it's not. It's literally just like, hey, do you want an extra piece of health? No, it actually... Just climb up the ladder. <laughs> there we go. So Cranky said, you'll be able to make more racket! And that's not what this does, so he just lied to me. He really didn't want me to get the furred watermelon. Now we'll go to Helm and see how many gold bananas we need. Hopefully 83 or fewer. Kawoosh. for a loaf of bread? It's a lot brighter up here as well. It's normally really dark in the N64 version. Eighty-three. What does it say? What does it say? Eighty-nine. Okay. You know we're close. We're actually very close. <laughs> Chunky, you gotta swim in the barrel again. Sorry, but this is just the gospel, and it must be done.
But again, the fact that we haven't found a beaver bobber yet is deeply worrying to me. Well done! <laughs> it's from some popular game that I haven't played. Buck up, Chunky. How many crystal coconuts do I have? Two? Oh, nope. Go back. We don't have enough crystal coconuts to actually be able to uh, do what I want to do. But we can pick, we can stock up on this island. Then we can head off to Crystal Caves, because I think that will probably be our easiest ticket for gold bananas. Good job, Winky. You got six out of five golden bananas on this level. It's amazing. Actually, hang on a second, folks. <laughs> I got a better idea. We need 89. Get out. Uh oh. That darn it. I forgot to break this open. Yeah, there are two gold bananas for us in this lobby alone, so we actually can go to a different world, potentially. So I'm not sure if there... Well, no, there's one gold banana in Crystal Caves we can get immediately. There's a dirt patch in the lava. Amazing. <laughs> that was not a mistake. I did that on purpose. To preserve my crystal coconuts, so that way I would have enough to fly up here. There's a gold banana we can get, like, immediately at the start. And then we can... Ooh, we could get the one... The waterfall bonus. That's also pretty fast. Never mind. Here's our other one. Oh. 
And here we go, the last gold banana. And it gives us an extra minute for Hideout Helm. Beautiful. Alright, we should be finishing up very quickly. It's a shame because this song is actually kind of a bop, but man, because it plays on all of the worst bonus games. I can derive no joy out of it. Yes, I know that the vines lead this way. I don't need you to tell me this every time. Splat! How come he can see us? We're supposed to be invisible as Chunky. Alright, and we get to skip the first part of Hideout Helm. Go straight to this room. Which is great. So now we just have to beat the bonus games really quickly. Alright! Let's get this bleep party started. Okay, good start. I like Kremlin Kosh. Very fun, very quick, very easy. Um, <laughs> it is when the Kremlins actually spawn in. I mean, blasting Kremlins in the face of watermelons is a pretty funny, fun bonus game, if you ask me. Okay, this is simple. As long as you're good at the barrel cannons, it's pretty simple. Oh, nope. Well done. Oh, one thing we really need to be on our watch for, though. If any cops, if any of the police officers show up in Hideout Helm, we need to be extra careful to not get caught by them. Because if we get caught by a cop in Hideout Helm, it resets all of our progress in Hideout Helm. All of it. But your time still stays decreased. Okay. <laughs> no, that's not okay. Oh, pfft, easy! This is literally the easiest bonus game. If this looks difficult, it's not. Oh, 
So what do we just feed the top three snakes, feed the bottom three snakes, reload in between each one, rinse and repeat. Cool, the snakes are fed. I could also go for some Crazy Calm Clamor in here. That's actually a fun game. <gasps> hey! Speak it into existence. <laughs> Please keep putting it in that corner. Okay, this is one of the easier ones. Well done. <laughs> oh, no, 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 don't shoot me, don't shoot me, no. <laughs> Such a weird concept for a game, but I love it. The Mad Jack music is kind of fitting for Hideout Helm. <laughs> you just get the constant demented laughter in the background. Okay, I don't see any cops in there. That's good. Ouch. You're rude. Alright, let's see what Tiny's games are. Oh, cool! This one's fun. <laughs> I didn't say I would get it first try, I just said it was fun. <laughs> These blocks are made of ice. I literally landed and then it's just like... <laughs> All right, fine. I'll play hardball. Well done. Hit the switch. <laughs> you touched. Well, yeah, that's the floor is lava, but literally. No, come on! I'm so sick of Stealthy Snoop! You're gonna do a freaking double back on me. Oh, that's a dead end anyways. Great. <gasps> This is also, like, easily one of the just Welcome the dumbest, the longest, and most boring of the minigames, and I have to play it, like, eight times this season. Mm. Mm. Submit! Mm. Mm. I might be going completely the wrong way as well. I have no idea. I don't have every single one of these m memorized. Oh, nope, we got it. Well but we reached it as Donkey Kong. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Welcome to bonus stage! <laughs> no, I was Tiny Kong when I completed it. Also, for those of you who are wondering, you don't need to collect the Rare Rare coin and the Nintendo coin in this seed. <laughs> That's a very nice feature you can turn off, and I always turn that off. Because it's just not fun to do. Alright, I'm glad to see no cops in here. <laughs> no, I don't, actually. Oh, look! We haven't smashed enough bugs. Wrecked. 
No, Pac-Man and Dig Dug are fun. <laughs> We're talking original Donkey Kong and Jetpack. All right, thanks for joining Proxima. Have fun. Welcome to Bonus Want to blast more Kremlins with watermelons? Yes, if it means avoiding Beaver Bobber, I would love to. Well, that one was easy. <laughs> the Kremlins are getting tired of getting their faces blasted in with watermelons. It's just like, just get it over with. Wait, what? I hit him, and he damaged me. Alright, just too many games left, and then the final boss. <laughs> cool. Okay, good. No police officers in Hideout and Helm. That's very good. And even if these are both Beaver Bobber, I think we can beat them in 23 minutes. Hopefully. Alright! Cool. Ooh, what enemies will we get? We get Kremlins and Dead Kremlins. My favorite. Draw. <laughs> El Cabal. Fastest guns in the West. Well done. All right. What will the last bonus game be? Not slivering. Not slivering. All right. Well, this one still sucks, but it's we avoided Beaver Bobber. You can only have so many shots on screen at once. They're small and fast, and e they can easily dodge your stuff, and for some reason they have a massive amount of HP. You gotta shoot them like five times to bring them down. There we go. Hooray, no beaver bobber! <laughs> now we get the sad k -Lumsy music. He's like, that was my machine! Whoa, you guys literally appeared out of nowhere. We got our four crowns. Um, we do have our four crowns. What do you mean we only have three crowns? We got four of them! Did I not... Did I not do the battle arena in Snide's HQ? 
I thought for sure I did. All right, well. Don't worry, guys, because... Nothing to fear. Very easy problem to fix. Unless this one is brutally difficult. Shockwave showdown. No, this is perfectly doable. Okay. Here's Chunky, he's better. I was afraid it was going to be like a 99 second survival against a bunch of guys we couldn't actually hurt. There we go, that's our fourth crown. I wish the crowns actually, like, did something in the game, other than just being like, you need four to open this one random door. Like, imagine if after you got, like, all ten battle crowns, you, your character wore a crown. I would actually go after them more. There we go. Wait. Where is Lanky? Who? Okay, the developers of this this uh, randomizer have a big vendetta against Lanky, apparently, and I do not approve. What has Lanky ever done to you? Here we go, final boss time. We better get some awesome music for the final boss. I don't home bonus barrel. Come on, please. <laughs> All right, I'll take it. That's not what's supposed to happen. There we go. Mixing up the faces. I must not remember the faces well enough. There we go. Oh, that... That's why I'm getting messed up. They sped up the phase and made it so you only have to hit him three times, not four. No wonder I... Okay, I'm not crazy. They just changed up his phases on me. Gotta say, I was really hoping for more epic music than this, but... There are worse songs. Alright, how many how many lights do we gotta shoot down on him? I could actually go for this if uh I could definitely go for Tiny's uh, uh phase getting sped up. That one's always long and really just not that fun. It's very repetitive.
Goodbye. Even the task can't beat Tiny's phase before the music loops. That's how you know it's too long. Maybe we just have to tickle his foot once. That would be nice. It's the girl with the world! Calm. Come on. One time shoe. All right, we're at least skipping the first part. Oh. Do we just get to shoot all of them one at a time? Uh. Maybe not. Come on, knock him out. Knock him out completely. No, too much to ask for. I'm not, like... I'm not, like, destroying them. I'm just tickling them. Which is why Tiny uses feathers instead of fruit. His own fault for wearing shoes with holes in them. Oh yes, yeah, skip two of the phases, not just one. Okay, this is getting too fast for humans to be able to re react to. There we go. This is why I bought that firm watermelon, folks. Okay, that was good. Going in twice instead of four times, that definitely helps. I kind of hope they don't speed up the last phase, though. The last phase is awesome. Alright, Chunky, bring it to a close. <laughs> he's, a, he's as upset about the music choice as I am. He's like, Duh, I don't do this song again! Right, let's see how fast we can beat this. That's okay, Lanky's phase is probably the least fun. <laughs> Four out of five columns recommend fighting K. Rool. Lanky's actually just like, I got no stake in this. K. Rool, you messed up my amazing cycle. Thus far, they're not speeding it up! Oh, yeah! Let's be honest, all Linky does is make him slip on a banana, so, like, it's not really very good. Oh, nope, they did speed it up. And goodbye. That's game! All, all right! <laughs>
now we get the Fungi Forest music. <laughs> All right, that's the DK64 randomizer, and we finished in under four and a half hours. Granted, compared to speedrunners, that is not good, but I ain't a speedrunner. Alright, well that was definitely fun. If I can find a way to do custom music for the future, I might well do that, because randomized music, not the best. <laughs> the music for this. I mean, it leads to some funny moments, but it also leads to some very annoying moments as well. As is often the case for a lot of custom music, or of random music, so... Alright, well, that kind of wraps things up. I don't really have any else, anything else to say on the matter, so... Thanks for watching, everybody. It was great chatting with you all. Hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend, and God bless.